Hello there, this is the Bookkeeping Master on YouTube. Welcome to this video. This is Accounting 101, learn basic accounting in five minutes. A couple of things to mention. I'm going to go as quickly as I can as I want to do this in five minutes, but I don't want to go so quickly that it's not beneficial to you. So if the video ends up being six minutes or seven minutes, please forgive me. I'm trying to make the video quick, but also beneficial to those that are watching the video. Uh, the other thing to mention is this is basic accounting. There are extensive things that I'm not covering and there are accounting principles that may contradict what I'm about to teach you. But this is basic accounting. Please stick with it. Please watch, please like, please subscribe. Here we go, Accounting 101 in five minutes. Accounting basically consists of debits and credits. That's all accounting is, it's creating debits or credits or recording the financial transactions of a business using debits and credits. Debits and credits are always equal. So if you have £1,000 worth of debit entries, you will also need to have £1,000 worth of credit entries or $1,000 or euros or whatever the currency is. Debit entries consist of assets and expenses. Credit Entries consist of liabilities and sales. Assets are things you own, things like equipment, property, stock, things that you own. Liabilities are things that you owe. That should say owe, oh, not own. Liabilities are things that you owe. Things like loans, money you owe to people. Asset examples, bank accounts, they're in a positive balance. If they're in a negative balance, then it's a liability. So the cash in the bank account is something that you own. So a bank account is an asset. Equipment is an asset. Debtors, money that people owe to you, cash that you own. Debtors, vehicles, that's vehicles that you own, not vehicles that you have a lease contract with. They are vehicles that you own. Liability examples. The bank accounts are in a negative balance, like in an overdraft. That is cash that you owe to the bank. Loans. A loan is something that you owe. Creditors, that's cash owed to suppliers. That is something that you owe. These are liability examples. Expense examples, power, rates, wages, rent, fuel. Example one, if you have a payment for rent, which is 500 pounds, what's the debit and what's the credit? Well, expenses are debit entries. Think of the debit, think of the credit, Debits are assets and expenses. Credits are sales and liabilities. Expenses are debit entries. So the £500 for the expense of rent will be a debit entry. It needs a corresponding credit of the same amount, so £500. If the cash is coming out of the bank account to pay for this rent, then we would credit the bank account. So debit, expense, credit the bank account. Another way to look at this is that the bank account is an asset account. To bring the value of an asset account down, you need to credit it. Think about it. An asset account is debit. You debit an asset account to increase its value. Credit will bring the value down. So you're making cash come out of the bank account or recording cash out of the bank account. So that's a credit entry. Debit expense, credit bank. Example two, here we go. A sale of a product. If you're selling something, what are sales? They are credits. We sold something for £200. Sales are credits. Credit sales, £200. You would credit sales account, £200. If the money goes into the bank account, you need the corresponding debit. So debit bank account, £200. If they paid in cash, you would debit the cash account, £200. You are increasing the value of the asset, which is a debit. And sales are credits. Credit, debit, 200, 200 balances. Here we go. Example three. Bank loan of 10,000 pounds, 10,000 dollars, 10,000 euros, 1 million yen. It doesn't really matter. Bank loan of 10,000. Loans are liabilities. They are things that you owe. You owe the bank 10 grand. Credit the bank loan account. 10 grand. That's money 
that we owe. It's a liability. It's a credit. So we receive a bank loan. We record 10,000 as a credit. Debit 10,000 pound into the bank account if the money is going to the bank account, which it likely is. Debit bank account account. 10,000. Yippee. So here we go. We are increasing the value of the asset, which is a debit, liabilities or credit. We have 10,000, 10,000. Oh, we're nearly reaching six minutes already. Example four, purchase of office equipment or office computer, sorry. I'm going so quick now that I can't even read anymore. So purchase of office computer, 1,000 pound. Well, that's an asset. Assets are debit, debit, credit, debit, asset expenses, credit, sales, liability. Debit computer equipment, £1,000, €1,000, €1,000, $1,000, whatever. Credit the bank account if we paid from the bank account, £1,000. We have our debit, we have our credit. Easy. All of these accounts will have running balances. Look back at the examples. We have a rent account, we have a bank account, we have an asset account. We have all of these accounts. All these accounts will build up running balances as we post these transactions. The list of these accounts and their balances is called the chart of accounts. We use this information or the accounts and the totals on the accounts to create a profit and loss statement and a balance sheet. The profit and loss statement tells you how much profit a business has made or how much of a loss a business has made. We get the totals from the sales accounts, we get the totals from the expense accounts, we deduct the expense totals from the sales totals and that gives us a profit or loss. Hopefully a profit and a big nice one balance sheet the totals of the assets we get the totals of the liabilities we put them on a sheet it gives us a figure that figure tells us the financial position of the business or it's used to analyze the strength of the business it took about seven minutes i do apologize i hope you liked it thank you for watching